Well, it doesn't look any different this angle. You know, I'm looking at it with through the camera thing and not directly at it. It is a little dimmer out here. I'm in Louisiana. It's 21st of August, 2017. It's about 1.15 in the afternoon. The solar eclipse is supposed to be at its maximum here. I guess. I, I don't know. We're looking at 75-80%. It's, it's definitely dimmer than normal. Um, right in the back of my one of my property. I think, yeah. So this thing here this will show you if I can stabilize the camera and see what the hell's going on. If the camera will focus. I don't like this this phone. It, it has problems. You can see how much of it's blocked there. It's one of these things I used to do as a kid. There was one that came over partial in the 80s and my mother showed me this trick looks like a moon don't it <laughs> Cheshire cat but anyway there's not much to say here it's not going to get completely dark here so uh you don't want to look at the sun during this. You don't want to look at the sun anyway. Do it through a camera or through a protective uh, deal. But uh, not very uh, exciting here. Just that. <laughs> Gosh, that's bright. <laughs> it's, it's still bright when you look up at it. I glance at it. It's... Yeah, but you can tell it's definitely dim, more dim. Anyway, in about six years, I have plans to travel over towards the Dallas area. And hopefully by then I will have a decent camera, some filters, and some good stuff to actually record that one up. Um, you know, I saw a, a, a stream of a guy, I forgot his name, the live stream of a guy one of those flat earth retard people and he's telling people to go look at this sun directly you know and I'm like no you don't ever want to do that not even on a normal day but it just goes to show just how stupid some people are and there's nothing that we can really do about it I just reported the stream as harmful activity, you know, he's telling kids and stuff to go out and look at the sun during this one. Obviously, that's not good for you. But, you know, I'm, I'm sorry to be a dick like that, but that's harmful, and I am a father of two daughters, and I wouldn't want my kids being exposed to that level of stupidity. But anyway, just my experience with it. I'm almost tempted to f start finishing and mowing this lawn because it is cooler out here and not as bright. I, I might take that offer up because it's, it's definitely cooler um, and it is kind of tall back here. But anyway, I'll uh, see you guys in the next video I guess. Yeah, that's exactly what it looks like. It looks like it's fixing a piss down rain. Anyways, I went in the house and got a pair of Ray Bans, a pair of safety glasses, and some other shit. I was looking at that VHF propagation map up Look there in there. Oregon, and man, that thing come alive right during that uh, eclipse. <laughs> they have some big old QSOs up there.
Yep. You know, I was wondering about that too. Uh, uh, WF YTF ID. Uh, I was wondering about that too. The race running right now on five five, and uh, I've heard that. That way, anyway. But, uh, I heard that, so. Uh, uh, that last night I was, uh, uh, down at, uh, Bottom, Bottom, Texas, and, uh, what's that? 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 And I can verify this, the VHF propagation has come alive up here, even down here where I'm at, you know, with a partial. I was on, I've heard conversations on the MERS band from Missouri and, you know, places over in Texas that, you know, if you know MERS is only like 154, 570, things like that. But people obviously own higher powered radios. But And then the hams, of course, on two meters. Uh, the railroad, I was able to hear KCS trains over in Dallas talking in, you know, not even going through the microwave. It, it really opened up the whole band. But on the flip side, I've noticed HF has just died when this started. It, it's interesting. Um, I don't know what they're what they're on about. These these guys around here just talk about all kinds of things. It's interesting. Okay, they're they're going on about <coughs> crap that doesn't matter I think. I mean, but yeah, the propagation's opened. It's opened the band. It's kinda neat. I mean I have a fifty watt CDM 1550 Motorola and on a uh, ham calling I was able to talk direct to a guy in Tulsa and I could show you what I'm talking on that that antenna there normally my train radio well actually it's the same radio hooked to that antenna the list of the railroads I switched it over and I was able to make contact with guy in Tulsa direct on a 50 watt radio with that antenna on my roof so <laughs> that, that's kind of amazing um I don't think the UHF is going to be affected by it. Um, I know HF is fucking impossible. There's nothing. Even the shortwave broadcasts have kind of petered down. Which during the day that's kind of normal but not yeah, it's, it's kind of hard to say. Anyway I just thought I would add that in with the, uh, the eclipse stuff.